Hello Friends, I welcome you specially to Kids Sunday School. Before we continue, I would like you to invite your friends to watch this program, tap on the like button, and also ask your mom or dad to share the link to everyone. Right now, we'll spend some time in prayer, speaking in tongues of the Spirit as we talk to God. Prayathon with Pastor Chris is a one-year-long global prayer marathon led by the man of God, Pastor Chris, and members of the Pastor Chris Live Prayer Network. We invite you to join this global prayer force, made up of millions of saints from every continent. As we pray in an unbroken chain of 15-minute segments every day, bringing to pass God's perfect will on earth through prayer. The Pastor Chris Live Prayer Network, affecting global change through prayer. Hello everyone, my name is Isha. Welcome to prayer today. I would like to thank my man of God, Pastor Chris, for this opportunity. Let's read the prayer point from the Pastor Chris live super user on King's Chat. In Acts 10 verse 38, it says, How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. In 3 John 1 verse 2, the word declared, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospereth. At our times of prayer today, we'll pray fervently in tongues of the Spirit and for the sick and hurting in our world. And God's grace and mercy will be extended to them for salvation, healing, deliverance. Amen. Let's pray. O sakatarava se katarava zete, o kasakarava se katarava se katarava se, o rakasakaya sakaya sakaya sakarava se, o kasakaya rava se katarava se katarava se, o kasakarava se katarava se katarava se katarava se, o marasa katarava se katarava se, o rava yanta karava se katarava ye. O Kasakarava Sakarava 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 Sa, O Sakarava Ze, No Rava Saka Saka Sa, O Rava Ye Katarava Se Karava Se Karava Se, In Tarava Sakaya Sakaya Sa, Marava Ye Kasakarava Ye Kasarava Ye, No Mara Sakaya 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 Sa, Ha Ha. O remanta ya sa karava ye katasu, O rianta karava ze katarava ye karava ze katarava ze, No masaka ya sa kaya sa karava ye, O rasa katarava se katarava ye ka ye ka ye, O marasa katarava se karava se, No rava ya katasa karava ye ka sa kushu. O Ramante Yamara se katarava se katarava ye, O Rava ye katarava se kayasa, No Maranta ka se katarava ye, O Yasaka 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 yasa, O Rava ye katasa kayasaka yasa, O Rayanta karava ze katarava ze kasaka yanti, O Rava saka yasaka yasa. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you that your love and your grace is extended to all sick. Oh, Sakarava say, thank you, Father, that you love them. Father, thank you that you anoint them with your grace, Father. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, everyone, for joining us for prayer today. See you next time. Bye. The Pastor Chris Live Prayer Network, affecting global change through prayer. There's a way of healing coming to you. Prepare for the Healing Streams Live Healing Services in the month of October. Come out! You are here now! She's cleansed. That's it! That's it! That's it! And guess what? Pastor Benny Heen is going to join me. Somebody shout hallelujah! At the Healing Streams. This October, so you can imagine what's going to happen. You could 
the two of us together, no devil can come in this house tonight. It's all over. Glory be to God. And you are healed. Get up from your bed. Somebody shout hallelujah. Let the devil look and cry. There will be a mighty outpouring of the healing power of God through Healing Streams live healing services with Pastor Chris. Pastor Benny Hinn will be joining Pastor Chris at this special edition. So we're both going to be ministering to you and praying for you. So you're all to expect that it's going to be like a wave of the miraculous in that. So for all the information you require on Healing Streams, get to the website healingstreams.tv Go there and find all the necessary information how you can be on the live stream to be prayed for how you can come to the studio if you have to travel down it's fine but make sure to get all the necessary information from our website for more information please visit our website at www.healingstreams.tv slash LHS or call us on any of the numbers now displayed on your screen. It's going to be extraordinary. You 
Introducing Love Tunes Comics, where every Bible story comes alive. Love Tunes Comics is a joyful and thrilling journey through the Word of God, bringing Bible heroes and wonders to life in every child's imagination. With colorful arts, vibrant illustrations, and fun activities. Learning about God's Word has never been so much fun. Stimulate the child's imagination with Bible themed puzzles and learn new words with the built in dictionary. It's more than just reading. Every copy of the Love Tunes comics is an exciting adventure that will ignite faith in every child. Love Tunes comics is available in prints and e format. To get a copy, kindly visit www.lovetoons.tv/slash comics or send a mail to infoalovetoons.org. Rhapsody of Realities for Early Readers, 13th of October, 2024, God's Masterpiece. For we are His workmanship, created in Christ Jesus, for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Ephesians 2 verse 10. A masterpiece is an artist's finest piece of work. In other words, the best of all he has made. In the same way, your God's finest and his best creation. This is why you should never look down or belittle yourself. Hallelujah! You're a wonder to your world, made in the image and likeness of the Most High God. If you have a mirror, go ahead and take a look at yourself right now. That person you're staring at is God's best and finest, His masterpiece. Say this with me, I'm God's masterpiece, His best and finest. Therefore, I live a life of glory, beauty and excellence every day. Hallelujah! Our scripture reading is from Isaiah 43, verse 7. Everyone who is called by my name, whom I have created for my glory, I have formed him. Yes, I have made him. Glory to God! 
Thank you for joining us today on Rhapsody of Realities for Early Readers. There's a way of healing coming to you. Prepare for the Healing Streams Life Healing Services in the month of October. Come out! You are here now! She's cleansed. That's it! That's it! That's it! And guess what? Pastor Benny Heen is going to join me. Somebody shout hallelujah! At the Healing Streams this October, so you can imagine what's going to happen. You put the two of us together, no devil can come in this house tonight. It's all over. Glory be to God. And you are healed. Get up from your bed. Somebody shout hallelujah. Let the devil look and cry. There will be a mighty outpouring of the healing power of God through Healing Streams Live Healing Services with Pastor Chris. Pastor Benny Hinn will be joining Pastor Chris at this special edition. So we're both going to be ministering to you and praying for you. So you're all to expect that it's going to be like a wave of the miraculous in that. So for all the information you require on Healing Streams, get to the website healingstreams.tv Go there and find all the necessary information how you can be on the live stream to be prayed for, how you can come to the studio. If you have to travel down, it's fine, but make sure to get all the necessary information from our website. For more information, please visit our website at www.healingstreams.tv slash LHS or call us on any of the numbers now displayed on your screen. It's going to be extraordinary. Hello friends, welcome to another exciting time on your favorite program, Know the Scriptures. I'm your amazing host, Geoffrey Joel, and I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to my dear man of God, Reverend Dr. Chris Oyakilume, for being a blessing to many all around the world, including myself. I love you dearly, Pastor Son. Our opening scripture today is 2 Timothy 3 verse 16, and it says, all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. And here on Know the Scripture, we recite a Bible verse, memorize and meditate on it, and reflect on the lessons learned. Our scripture for today is Hebrews 10 verse 25. Joshua 1, 8 says, this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Know your scriptures today. Please open your Bibles to Hebrews 10 verse 25. This time, we'll read it from the KJV. Hebrews 10 verse 25, and it says, Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another, and some much the more, as ye see the day approaching. Glory to God! Let's read it again, this time slowly and quietly. Are you ready? Let's go. Hebrews 10 verse 25 and it says, Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, 
as the manner of some is. But exhorting one another, and so much the more, as ye see the day approaching. Hallelujah. Wow, that was inspiring. Now, let's memorize the scripture as we recite it again. One, two, three, go. Hebrews 10 verse 25 Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another, and so much the more, as ye see the day approaching. Hallelujah. And finally, let's close our eyes for a while as we meditate on the scripture. Are you ready? Let's go. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another and so much the more as ye see the day approaching. I will exalt one another. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hebrews 10 verse 25 and it says, Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as the manner of some is, but exalting one another, and so much the more, as ye see the day approaching. Glory, glory, hallelujah. I'll go on a short break now. Please stay tuned. Reasons why children should read the Bible. It is God's instruction manual for a life of success. The Bible teaches us how to pray and have absolute trust in God. The Bible contains many inspiring stories of faith and God's faithfulness. The Bible reveals the character of God. The Bible teaches excellent morals and character. The children are still reading the Bible and they are enjoying the blessings of reading the Bible. To be part of the Let's Read the Bible campaign, ask your parents to record you while reading your preferred Bible passage and then upload by visiting www.letsreadthebible.club. Go ahead and read a chapter today. Welcome back. As a child of God, going to church is very important for your growth in the things of God. The Lord wants you to learn his word, be an overcomer, and preach boldly about him too. When you go to church, you will learn more about God and you'll also grow spiritually. So, if your service is tomorrow, ask your parents to take you to church so you can learn more about God's word. I'm sure you enjoyed today's episode. Till next time I come your way, Keep saying it and don't stop talking the scriptures. Bye. My name is Naomi and I warmly welcome you to today's episode of Affirmations with Naomi. The Bible says in Galatians 5 verse 22 to 23, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. As God's child, you need the help of the Holy Spirit to control your tongue and be able to use it right, for he'll always guide you to speak the right words 
full of grace and blessings. So friends, are you ready to affirm God's word together with me now? Let's begin. I affirm that I am love personified, extending and demonstrating God's love in my family, in my school, in my neighborhood, and in my nation. I affirm that my words are seasoned with grace before men. I affirm that I am a water-carrying cloud and my words are full of the power of the Spirit of God. I affirm that God's word is my delight and I meditate on it day and night. Hallelujah! I affirm that my heart is indicting a good matter and my tongue is the pen of a ready writer. Hallelujah! Glory to God! Did you enjoy saying those affirmations with me? I'm sure you did. Hope you had a wonderful time affirming God's word. See you next time. Bye! Hello, kids. It's so wonderful hanging out with you today on Kids Sunday School. You can make the Lord Jesus your best friend and the Lord of your life by saying this prayer with me. Dear God, thank you for loving me so much. Thank you for sending Jesus to save me. I believe Jesus died for me. And God raised him from the dead for me. And he is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus is the Lord of my life. I receive eternal life into my heart. And now I am born again. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for saving me. You are my best friend now. Hallelujah, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God. <laughs>